Hello everybody, Augie here once again with yet another video. Um, we're going to try something here. We're going to try to pull this bumper, this dent, it's got this big old dent, and this 09 F350 that we're going to flip. I'm going to try to pull it out a little bit. I did something similar to a, an old Ram I had one time, and it worked pretty good, so we're going to try it again. So we're going to use the Duramax, and we're going to try to pull out that dent. Also, I was a little worried because I noticed this thing has a severe oil leak on it. I was freaking out a little bit, and I crawled underneath it, and it's just a hole in the um, a hole in the uh, oil filter. So easy fix. So let's see if this works. It'll either work or we'll rip the bumper off. One or the other. All right. So we've got the tow strap attached to the damaged part of the Ford. Other ones hooked to the awesome Iron Cross bumper on the Duramax. Let's see if this works. Like I said, I've done it once before and it worked. All right, you probably can't see what's going on very well, and that would make two of us, because neither can I. Okay, let's see. Tightening up. All right, here we go. I'm tugging. We ripped out the bumper. We ripped right through. But it doesn't look as dented. Let's go take a look. That's what I get for trying to do it one handed. Oh, it actually did not rip it out. It just. Okay, you know, hey. It looks better. It looks better. I thought it actually would rip this out. If I put it right there and give it a little tug, and I mean little tug, it might get a slight improvement and maybe take a little hammer. If I can find a hammer in my snow covered shop, maybe fix that a little bit. All right, reset. All right, so I wasn't able to make a video at the time because I ran out of room. But the end result of me pulling on the bumper, eh, is not good. It's not what I wanted. Uh, I guess it's a little better than it was, um, but I, I ended up potentially making it worse. I even ended up actually, I think I mentioned it in the last video, pulling out that little, you can see it propped up against the RV over there, that little plastic chin spoiler. Um, that could get popped on, but it's kind of a pain in this. And this leads me to another thing. All you guys who have the luxury of flipping cars, detailing cars in a nice heated garage uh, with a nice concrete floor, this is... This is what I'm dealing with. These are Cole Hans, man. They're trashed. Everything's ruined. Everything's ruined, but making some progress on this darn thing. As you can see, this is what I'm dealing with. Did some reconditioning on the seats. Um, I did this side of the back seat area. It came out pretty good. This was like the front, and that all cleaned up pretty nice. I still have that side to do. Not too shabby. And the other part of living down the dirt roads is this. I just got back from the car wash with this. This is one trip down my dirt roads. So the best I can do this time of year is take pictures. But this truck didn't need much. She came out pretty clean. It's probably rain on my lens. This flip the, This is my little trick. Uh, get the floor mats all clean and then flip them upside down. That way I can use it. And when I'm done, just give it a quick wipe down. Flip it back the right side around. Uh, that's how I can get away with using my cars after I detail them without detailing them over and over and over again. Um, and then any car I get that has kind of nasty floor mats and I buy new ones, I just end up chucking them in my shop. So I'm actually going to grab a set and lay down and something like this so that I have floor mats so that they get all dirty and I don't mess up the floor, which is not clean yet, but will be. Anyway, that was a little quick update on the bumper thing. Didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Didn't work out as good as it did on the Ram that I had, but oh well. It is what it is, but anyway, I guess back to reconditioning. We've got another auction coming up on Saturday. I still have the Fusion to sell. I've got these two trucks to sell. I don't have the titles for these yet, but I should get them soon. Um, and yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully we get to move in some cars pretty soon. It's almost tax time, fingers crossed, you know? Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Augie out.